Thanks to Gia from Jake Lee Garden, welcome. So today I thought we will do something a little different uh, because it's winter here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Everybody is getting sick. So I thought why not put together a flu busting pop. So let's have a look at some of the things that we're going to do, some of the things we're going to use, um, our potting medium, the plants, and let's get started. So um, the potting medium or the, the ratio that I like to use is it's half a bag of, of clay manure, uh, two handfuls of the flower and fruit, two handfuls of the Talborn organic seedling mix, a scoop of hydro cash, that's water retaining gel, and then there's peat moss. So um, the palm peat, we actually put this entire block in a few liters of water, five liters to be exact, and I use an entire block when I'm doing half the bag of compost. I've also added some leaves, some dried autumn leaves into my compost, and then we had some food scraps. So what I've done is I've filled my pot <clears throat> just under two thirds with the mixture, my compost and leaf mixture. I'm just gonna make a small well. I'm gonna add my kitchen scraps into, into the hole. So we have banana peels, um, um, tea bags, eggshells. So I'm just going to add that to the middle of the pot. I just feel as though as it breaks down, it adds more nutrients into the soil. It also brings in the earthworms. Um, the earthworms will come through the pot and they'll have something yummy to eat. So I'm going to add that to the middle of my pot and then just add a little bit of compost on top. So some of the plants I want to use would be lemon grass. So lemon grass is a medicinal herb. It does help with that. Sorry, I just got my notes. It does help with fevers, um, vomiting and coughing, as well as exhaustion. So what you could do is obviously you um, have lemongrass in food, uh, or you can make a lemongrass tea. Um, the other thing is to chop the stems and put them into a organza bag and almost have a bath, um, a bath tea. Um, yeah, so let's plant our lemongrass. Oh, it's quite root bound, as you can see. Going to just loosen that up just a little bit, and I'm going to plant that right in the middle of my pot. I think that's going to be a beautiful feature. Can you see me? <laughs> Let's just move this bit out the way. Then, what I'm going to add? Let's do a garlic. So this is um, pink Egyptian garlic. I'm just going to do one. Wow. Also quite root bound. I mean, that means that plant is quite happy. Um, well, it's putting on some growth. So I'm going to do one bulb or one clove. I'm going to put that next to the lemon grass. Now, um, garlic is an anti-inflammatory. It also has vi um, antiviral properties. So that's always a win. Let's see what else. I am going to go for some sage. So sage helps with sore throats and coughs. Um, there's three, three plants here, so I'm going to just separate that out um, and do one. They get quite big. I don't need three in this pot. So gently, oh, as gentle as I can, tease that out. I'm just going to put it at the back here. We're going to be filling it in with compost and so we'll arrange the plants as we go. Let's do some chamomile. So chamomile um, treats insomnia. So um, if you've got the flu or you're feeling a bit icky, then it's always nice to have a good night's sleep. So let's do some chamomile. How you would use chamomile is actually the flowers. You can use the greens as well. Um, and you would just make a tea. So steep it in some hot water um, and have a chamomile tea. So 
I'm going to actually just plant that entire um, chamomile flower. I'm going to fill in a little bit of soil around that. Soil, a bit of soil here for my um, sage. Uh, let's do rosemary. Where is my rosemary? Here it is. Wow. Rosemary also gets quite big, so I'm not going to use this entire plant. I'm going to just use a bit. There's our rosemary. So with rosemary, rose, with rosemary you can actually um, cut the leaves off or pull the leaves off steep them in water and actually inhale the vapor and um, it's supposed to relieve nasal congestion and um, a tight chest so that's always a win um, around flu season oh, let's go with a basil so basil is pretty cool basil actually reduces fevers um, and any sort of symptoms from colds and flu. So, I mean, eating it, or so again, um, steeping it in some water and drinking it, drinking it as if you would tea. So let's do some basil. There are four plants in here. I'm just going to choose, um, they've actually been grown in small plugs. So there's actually two here. I'm going to keep them together and I'm going to stick that on the other side of this beautiful lemon grass. Let's go for some oregano. Now, oregano also um, is an anti inflammatory, it eases breathing. Um, you can also steep it in hot water and inhale the vapors. Um, and you can also do a bath soak, just like the lemongrass. So, you chop off a whole bunch of, of the leaves, stick it into an organza bag, and let it seep into your bath. I'm going to do this whole oregano on the side here. Add some more soil, bring it up a little bit, a little bit low. There we go, we've got our oregano in. And then I should have lemon balm. So, lemon balm is to upset, um, well, to help with an upset tummy, um, and you would make a lemon balm tea. So, let's put that in. I'm going to add some more soil. right on the edge here. And then let's do mint. So mint, um, also making a uh, mint tea. Um, it reduces fever, it helps with nausea or an upset tummy. It also improves digestion. So Let's plant some mint. With the mint, I'm going to keep it in this small pot because the roots are actually quite invasive. I don't want them to strangle my other plants. Um, the mint in this pot, I just let it hang over. Add some more soil. The bottom here. Okay, so we're going to rest our mint like that. Okay, what else have we got? We've done rosemary, we've done basil. Uh, we need to do thyme. So thyme it also relieves a cough, um, it clears a, um, congestion, and you can also make a tea. Obviously you can use it in food uh, or cu for culinary purposes, um, but you can make a nice thyme tea. I'm gonna stick that in the side here and let that thyme all over. There we go. We now have some can um, candula flowers. So these grow about 20 to 30, 30 35 centimeters high. They help with digestion, circulation, they're also anti-inflammatories. I'm going to put one right next to the lemongrass. In fact, let's do two because these are beautiful. The ones I've uh, got here have a beautiful yellow flower, um, so that's going to be really great. So I'm going to put tuck them quite tight. 
paint the skin across. Okay, and then let's go for yarrow. Now, yarrow um, also grows about 30 centimeters high, and um, also ha helps with digestion. It's an anti inflammatory, um, loves the sun. You can make a tea out of the yarrow, you can use the, the flowers as well as the leaves. I'm not going to use all these flowers. Um, I feel as though this pot is getting a little full. So let's use just a few. If I can somehow slip this out. Let's see if we get the, the flowering one. Oh, so root bound. Wow. Things have been in here a while. Right, there's our yarrow. I'm going to stick that right by the lemon balm. Add some more soil. Okay, we still have some space. What else have we got? Oh, right. So the other thing I wanted to plant is some ginger. And some turmeric. So uh, ginger and turmeric, which both are anti-inflammatories, um, boost the immune system. You can use them in, in, in uh, make tea. Um, I don't really know about ginger tea, but they say that you can use it in ginger tea. Um, I don't know about garlic tea, um, but they say that you can do it. So let's plant some ginger and garlic. No, it's not ginger and garlic. I am planting turmeric and ginger. That's what I'm planting. <laughs> so we've got our ginger, we've got our turmeric. Um, let's get some more soil. Put in my gaps here. Going to plant my ginger just on the surface like that, cover it a little bit, and I'm going to plant my turmeric on the other side. Now, turmeric make the most beautiful flowers. So there goes the turmeric. Right. So we have. Let's just recap. We have our lemongrass. We have our mint, we have our rosemary, we have candula, we have yarrow, we have garlic, we have basil, we have oregano, we have thyme, chamomile, and ginger and garlic. No, ginger and turmeric. <laughs> I've just made tags for my ginger and turmeric, just so I know where I've planted them. So that's my turmeric, that's my ginger. I'm just going to fill in the gap. Everything is covered quite nicely. Give it a good firm press down to make sure that there's contact with the roots and the soil. And that is it. Well, one more thing. We need to mulch. So I've got some dry um, autumn leaves. I'm just going to mulch. Especially on top of the turmeric. All around the herbs. Okay, 
last thing to do is to water it in. So I like to use a um, nutri feed when I have um, newly transplanted plants or seedlings. So this is five to 10 grams in a liter of water. So I have pre-mixed over here in my watering can and I'm just gonna water it in. Even though my soil was pre-moistened, um, it's always a good idea to just give the plants that extra moisture um, just to help with any sort of transplant shock. And that is it. That is our flu busting pot. Um, I look forward to see how this beauty grows. Um, stay with me so um, we can enjoy it. Um, take care now. Enjoy, guys. Chat soon.